Let's talk about the Astros, though. They're the world champs. They are, uh, for argument's sake, the best team, you know, whether you want to say so or not. But their bullpen, now here's a couple ways to look at it. Their bullpen's been overall very, very good. They also have worked the least amount of innings, I believe, in the league. Mm. They need help still with where they are right now? I believe that's the only weakness that that ball club has. And you've seen them give up a lot of games late inning. Now, during the regular season, you can be hidden because they have some, probably arguably the best rotation of all time collectively. But when you get to the postseason, you get to the upper echelon ball clubs, high leverage situations, you got to have a shut down guy. And I believe they don't have it. Can they go with other pieces as far as the starters like they did last year to win it? I don't know, but I think they need to go out and rectify that and get a front-line closer, move Rendon down to the eighth inning, seventh inning, a little less leverage situations. But that's the only weakness that ball club has is late-inning relief. I would agree. It's a touchy one or a difficult one because they have a lot of really good relievers, and they have the ability to put someone in the bullpen for the postseason. I don't know that it will be Charlie Morton again, but McCullers perhaps. You could do this a number of ways. Mm -hmm. That said, what if you go get Rachel Iglesias from the Reds or Brad Hand from the Padres or someone that can hold down that role? It's a lot more appealing. The question is, Iglesias hasn't been in a pennant race. Brad Hand hasn't been in a no, pennant race. None of the available relievers really have been. So if I'm the Astros, I'm monitoring this over the next couple of weeks, kind of trying to figure out what to do, but I'm with Dontrell. They need one more. They can't put Hinch in the same position they did last postseason where he really had to improvise his way to right. a World Series title. How about this? Is Ken Giles done as an Astro? That's a good question, and let's not forget, punched himself in the face earlier this season. Lord have mercy. Then he cursed his manager last right. night. What he did last and night was unacceptable. His, it, completely. Unacceptable. And his performance no, is unacceptable. So where are you going with this? And I would not be surprised if we do not see him in the major leagues for the Astros again. I, and I didn't mean to cut you off, but as a pitcher, I learned very early. I had a bad game. I was frustrated. I saw Jack McKeon coming out. And I wasn't mad at him for taking me out. I was mad that I underperformed. And I walked and did not look him in the eyes and give him that ball. You want to talk about that old man strength coming out and he beeline to me. That's the fastest I've ever seen him move. I will never forget the way he grabbed my arm. And he was like, don't you ever disrespect me like that or any other manager like that. It's not our fault that you gave up the runs. You respect us, though, and you stay on that mound. That's why when I saw that clip, I had a flashback. I thought Jack was coming again. You know what I mean? So he needs to be better at that. And that's the reason why right after that, they got on that bat phone. Every team has that bat phone. And they said, you need to get this guy out of here. The attitude is unacceptable. Dontrell, that's the reaction I had. How is it Hinch's fault that he picked so poorly? Listen. There's no way. Well, that, Hinch lost all confidence in him in the postseason last He did. Year. That was yeah. obvious. And, and I don't, that's think, what the I don't think it ever back came to. back. And I don't think it's ever going to come And he's back. only bad apple over there as far as the negative energy. Hey. Everyone talks about him hitting himself, doing things. The rest of the team, everyone's happy, go lucky, hitting home runs, it's high-fiving. It, you you got to get that guy to calm himself down and humble himself and really focus on big pitching. Real quick before we move on, you, you sent us a nice little tease. You got something coming for the A's. Can you give us a little snippet for, for Oakland? Sure. What do we got, Ken? My point is... Basically what we were talking about. And here are the A's. The run differential is better than the Mariners. Mariners are slowing down a little bit, 500 or so in the last 20 games. Mm -hmm. A's, if they win tonight, 18 of 23. <laughs> they rocking. Not going to continue. Okay. But if they win tonight, the Mariners lose their five back in the race for the second wild card. I'd give it two more weeks if I were the A's. You want to see that it's genuine and for real. But what if you're five out in two weeks? Do you sit there and say, oh, we're going to sit and continue with the game's lowest payroll? No, that's not what they should do. Billy Bean, historically, has always gone for it when his team had a chance. I know he rips it up from time to time, but not when his team has a chance. He's going to want to go for it again, and then it's incumbent on ownership to support him. Offensively, they have a chance. Yes. They went away from drawing walks. They went to the launch angle. They have a, a, a collective group around Chris Davis that can show power. They're having a lot of fun, and Bob Melvin, Melvin's done a heck of a job continuing to keep, keep those young guys hungry and believing that they can make a mark in this division. I love what they're doing in Oakland, and the fans are hyped about they're what the they're best. doing in Oakland. They want to see Billy put some money into it and get a pickup like John Lester maybe in the in, in the, uh, the rotation, someone like that that can really bolster and that's what that. they need, Kevin. Right now, as of tomorrow, they've got three journeymen in the rotation. Right, right, right. It's Cahill, it's Anderson, and it's Edwin Jackson. We yeah. both love him, but he's a journeyman. <laughs> right. So 
that's where they need help. Hey, That's so many A couple years ago, they got Lester, they got Samarja, they got Jason right. Hamill. They did it before. They got the veterans. See if they could do it again real quick. Look out, here comes Jack. Hey, Jack ran up on me. Careful. Jack ran up on me. Like I, was, I was, like I was acting up in church. I hate to 